So this is the app on which we are going to work today. In this lecture, we are going to learn how can we make use of the Gmail ID app or Gmail app in order to log in into this app, Arogya Setu. Fine. Now let's tap on this screen and see what is going to happen. So this is where this screen, that screen is going to get, uh, you know, the user redirected on. Now here we have got a button uh, which says register now. Let's hit this button and see where are we going to get redirected. Now this that button has got the got the user redirected on this screen where he is required to put his email ID. Now as you can see in this Gmail app we have got two uh, email IDs created. So we will be using this Amit's email ID for now. What is the password of this? Let's check that also. So the password of this ID is Amit. So we are going to make use of Amit's Gmail ID in order to log in into Arugya Setu's app and the password is Amit. Let's see what's going to happen when we'll hit this next button. So the user is going to come across this screen where he's going to see his name right on the top. Now there is a image. There is an image defined over here. Uh, Let's hit this image and see what are we going to get. So this is Arogya Setu's profile panel where Amit will be able to see his uh, name and his email address right on the top. Let's hit this and see what is now going to happen. Now this is a screen the user is going to come across when he will hit his profile uh, screen. Okay, the screen on which he will see his profile. So that's how we can log in into some other app using the Gmail address. Fine. This is what we are going to learn in this lecture. So let's now dive into code.org platform and see how can we code such a thing. This is the first screen the user is going to come across. Now we want to code this app in such a way that when the user taps on this button, I want him to go, uh, get redirected on this screen Arogya2. So let's do that. So this is a Gmail app that we are using right now as you all know. Uh, we need to make use of this uneven block and from here we need to select Arogya1 because the name of the screen is Arogya1 so where is that this is and after this we need to uh, you know select set screen option so that when the user taps on this Arogya1 screen he I we can make him redirect on Arogya2 screen so this is Arogya2 screen the user is going to come across now when the user will tap on this register, now we are, here we have got a button named register. Now I want that when the, <coughs> sorry, when the user taps on this button register, I want him to get redirected on some other screen. What is the ID of this? It is register, let's select register from this drop down first. So register is, uh, This is the one now we want we would like the user to get redirected on uh, not on the first screen uh, I think it's screen one no uh, where is that screen yeah this is the one I would I would like the user to get redirected on this screen that is a screen two now how am I going to do that uh, just a second let me just check some more things over here yeah so this is a screen 3 or screen 2 I would like the user to get redirected on screen 2 so that's the reason I would be making use of the set screen option and this is how I can make the user redirect on screen 2 if he taps on this uh, register now button okay now here the user is supposed to enter his email id the user the user is going to enter his email id and hit this next button after that the user will come on this 
password login screen right so here his uh, email id is going to get reflected and the user is going to enter his password here we have uh, you know studied about all these things in the previous lecture of gmail so if you guys want you can uh, watch that lecture lecture first after this the user is going to come on once the user uh, gets successfully logged in he is going to come on uh, what was the name of the screen I think the name of the screen is yes uh, he is going to come on this screen it now we are not talking about uh, receiving or sending mails here so he will not be able to see the side screen over here the only thing which will be visible to him is this background and these two buttons over here okay so this is the heart button now what i want when the user will click on this heart button i would like him to get redirected on uh, that arogya setu setu's app okay so for that let's define a code here okay this is the one i think yeah this is the one so when the user will click on this uh, button i would like the user to get redirected on arogya 3 this is a screen on which i would like the user to come on screen 3 sorry arogya 3 okay what else i would like to do i would like you know uh, there is a profile screen also which i have uh, defined for this arogya setu app and this is that screen i would like that uh, you know the user's profile should get visible over here so do let's do one thing uh, let's make it like this you know when the user will click on that heart button he should come on this screen first okay now here i want to see the user's name over here and besides i want to see his email id to be there okay uh, so how can we do that now as you can see in the data browser connected to this app we have got uh, you know these tables already created so these are the users and inside this mail we have got uh, the uh, information of the person who is sending and receiving a mail and inside these emails we have got the emails of all the people who have registered on this platform so what shall we use right now uh, let's make use of these individual email ids tables okay how are we going to make use of because you know uh, we have got the names of the people in these tables see uh, his first name is here his second name is here dob gender so everything is there inside these tables so let's make use of these tables for now okay so uh we need to read the records from the tables right so in order to read the records from the existing tables which are there in the data browser we can make use of these read a records block okay now from where are we going to read the records from so the email address which the person is going to enter here on screen 2 okay email 2 this is where he is going to enter his email address so i would like to read the records from this uh you know portion or from this uh, draw, uh, component so let's make use of get text option for that we need to put this get text here and we need to select email to from this drop down that is going to appear when you'll click on the drop down button so email to is the thing that we need to select from here let's see where can we find email to yeah this is the one now once we are done with reading the records we would like the name of the user to get reflected here 
uh, what is the ID of this it is name and the ID of this is email okay so let's do one thing let's get rid of this thing from for now and let's get rid this thing for now fine so the records are going to come in this records uh, variable now we need to make use of either you can make use of set text property or we can make use of set property here and what is the ID of this it is name so let's remove this thing for now and let's keep it as name and from where are we going to read the name of the user we need to check the table you know the field in which that names are getting saved so the name of this user is getting saved in here in this first name so let's copy this thing from here and we need to put it here fine okay and let's replace this with text besides let's copy this whole thing from here and we need to because we need to again make use of the same thing for this uh, you know email what is the ID of this it is email only e in caps and mail in small right yeah that is fine and we need from where can we read the email what is the email ID of the person so it is given over here email so let's make use of this fine and now let's convert it back into block based code okay so that's how we can get the name and the person's email id reflected over here besides i would like the user to get redirected on this arugya 3 screen if he taps on arugya 4 screen so this is the last code that i need to define for now where is that arugya 4 screen i think it is somewhere in the top yeah this is the one and now i would like the user to get redirected on arugya 3 screen fine so this is how we can code in such a way uh, that the user can log in into this app using his gmail id which is already registered on this platform hope you enjoyed the lecture please do like and subscribe to my channel and do share the video in your groups whatever whatever groups you are a part of thank you very much and god bless you all with a great future